Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am an independent contractor and trainer. In this episode, I'm going to pick up where I left off in my last episode on hidden C++ 17 features. This episode will be the conclusion to my hidden C++ 17 features series, and I believe this at this point we have basically covered throughout C++ Weekly in the last year every feature of C++ 17, but I could be wrong. If you are aware of any that I've missed that you think I should cover, leave a note in the comments on YouTube. Now, next up in our tour of hidden C++ 17 features is standard shared mutex. We've got this mutex that can be either shared or unique lock on it. Now, I find it interesting because shared mutexes have been around for an extremely long time. They've been in Boost forever. They're in Qt. I don't know why, because I don't know the full history of these things in C++, that we're just now getting shared mutex because shared timed mutex existed in C++14 and this is one where you could set a timeout on how long it took to get the lock but you couldn't say no I just want to wait forever essentially and now we've got our shared mutex which I believe just gives us a very straightforward reader writer kind of lock in C++17. And now, finally, in our tour of hidden C++ 17 features that are being added, we've got our mathematical special functions. And I can honestly say that I have basically no idea what any of these are for. But they've all been added in C++ 17. And I did some Wikipedia reading. If you're so inclined, you can look up these functions and you can click and it'll give you a handy Wikipedia link where you can read about it and um, if this means something to you then that's awesome. We have a very large set of these new special math functions that have been added in C++17 for all kinds of things to calculate and we've got also I think interesting um, overloads for them so you can pass in, and if you look at the first name, you can pass it a double float or a long double, and it will return back a double to you. If, on the other hand, you specify specifically F or L, then it's going to take a float or a long double, and there's also a overload that does that takes an integral value. Now, this is, uh, I believe, if I understand correctly, partially done because this is in the CMath header. And so in C, you can't do overloading the same way you can in C++. So you need these differently named functions. So you're going to get, effectively, just the first overload here that takes a double in C, and then these next two differently named versions that take the float and the long. But then in C++, you can just use the top one and know that it's going to do the same thing without any loss of precision for you. So there you have it. That is our tour of hidden C++17 features with a whirlwind tour around cppreference.com. And I want to thank the people who have put together cppreference.com because it is an extraordinary resource that is constantly up to date. And note that it is a wiki, so you are able to do your own editing and submit proposed changes here. And we've also got the ability to download offline archives of cppreference.com so you can read the C++ reference while you're on the plane and if you don't have Wi-Fi access available. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.